Shumai, hello, I'm Lucy Jane Pearnton and welcome to part one of three of my phone photography creating in isolation series. I hope the following videos inspire you to pick up your smartphone and give photography a go at home. You don't need to be a professional photographer. If you do, I'd love to see your images, so tag me at. So here we go, no camera, no tripod, no professional lighting kit and no backdrops. Now before we get started, there's some things to consider. Now photography is painting with light, so we need to consider our light source. At the moment, this unusual thing's happening where it's really sunny in Wales. If the rain should come, you can use a lamp or a torch. Or what I find easier is I've downloaded a free torchlight app onto a spare smartphone. Now another thing to think about is backgrounds. Now, if you don't have a nice clear wall, like you can use curtains or grab some clothes pegs and drape or clip scarves, towels, uh, bed sheets uh, over doors or on the stairs, be careful working on the stairs and that's a really quick and easy way to make a nice backdrop. Now all the images I've taken have got a five second delay on them which you can set up on your phone. This means I can press and pose in time. And I'm using this DIY tripod made out of toilet roll. Now as you can see I've cut little slits here and I've got a weight on the bottom. If you haven't got one, use a bit of sticky tape just to hold it in place. Last thing you want is phones falling over. I've been using a free photo editing app for your phone to brighten some pictures up or darken them, change the tone, the saturation experiment with this it's really fun to see how you can change the look of a lot of pictures take care making these pictures if there's anyone around ask them to help and assist these are just guides so feel free to put your own spin on them right let's get cracking Live. Dead flowers.
So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to watch the other videos. Get creative and keep safe. Spiky.